What's a good website to waste a whole night on? Me and my Discord buds just spent a few hours messing with. Pick two or more songs. Copy plus paste the Yatub slash Spotify links and let an AI try to mash them up. You can get some surprisingly good results if you give some good effort or from just slapping the most random shit together. Making AIs do things is always a fun time waster tbh. P. Edit. Holy moly I woke up to so many not ifs. I'm glad you'll love my suggestion and amazing and hilarious mixes y'all. Oh. Edit 2. Seems my comment about this got buried so tossing here. If you're having issues with the site not working properly. X. Links disappearing. Search is not working. It's because the surge of traffic seemingly broke it. It should start working properly once everything calms down. So maybe try tomorrow? I didn't think my comment would bring down an entire website. Whoops. Irowad.org science. History, experiences, and lore about just about every drug, herb, and chemical that humans can consume. There are some fascinating and horrific experience stories. This site that chooses a random spot on earth each time you refresh and shows you the Google Street View of it. Spend hours planning all the trips you'll never take. Google Maps. People doesn't seem to realize how crazy it is to be able to see literally the whole planet. If you showed this to a person who lived 50 years ago, they'd be amazed. I have spent entire evenings just scrolling across distant countries, checking out villages in the far east of Russia or some desert in Mongolia, clicking on random landmarks, and using Wikipedia to learn about random places. It made me realize more how many people actually live on this planet, and how big it is. As a European, I noticed that the Alps are actually not that big. There are lots of mountain ranges with much higher mountains in them that I guarantee you have never heard of. I think it is an amazing tool that can really give you perspective. People use it in their daily lives to find the nearest Starbucks, but it is much more than that. Citizen Science Platform Help scientists while having fun with their real projects, like looking for exoplanets, or features on Mars, or many more in many fields. Edit, wow, thank you all for the awards. Colon close bracket. Honestly if you've got a buddy or two you can call. Wiki races are super fun. Someone picks a starting article and the other picks an ending article. For instance Mongolian throat yodeling to the Vietnam War. And you can only go page to page by using hyperlinks in the article. No CTRL plus F and no C similar. It's actually really fun to see how people's brains work when it comes to this. There's also the version where you go from a random article to Hitler Wikipedia, but that's way I, I, I too easy. Edit. Okay okay I get it. Mongolian throat yodeling to Vietnam War is easy. It was just the first two things that popped into my head lol. Edit 2. Chrome. Slash slash denote a play the dino game in full screen. Careful there friend, I asked the same question 8 years ago and someone said reddit. I'm still here procrastinating. I have wasted hours on this, and I don't know why. Few examples include, Stranger Things, Old Town Road. Search engine for pictures in the National Archives. Amazing old photographs with search capabilities. Left square bracket. Semicolon. Music from all over the world through the decades. Enjoy discovering different cultures. Saltibut.com Two bots compete in a fighting game with user-made characters, and you bet fake money on it. A match between Godzilla and Ronald McDonald can get surprisingly hype. Not sure whether anyone else has recommended Little Alchemy. There's also Little Alchemy 2, but I prefer the original. It's a one-player game where you begin with four elements, air, earth, water, and fire. By pairing them with one another in every possible way, you create other element. Evidently, there are 500 plus to find. It's extremely engaging. A challenging game about squares haha. I've only gotten to level 20? I can't remember, and that might be an overshot. I found this one off an older Reddit thread a couple weeks back, but definitely wasted some hours on it. Is stumble upon still a thing? 
I spent hours on. The wiki game is a pretty good one. The objective of the game is to start at one Wikipedia page and race against other people to a completely different Wikipedia page by clicking on links to different articles. You could definitely spend at least an hour on it. Left square bracket. I used to browse this bad boy all the time. SCP wiki. Pretty much a one-time read of each email conversation, but still gave me some great laughs. Edit, man, how times, and my humor, have changed in the past 10 years, that's hardly funny, the dude is just an ass. Can't ever go wrong with trusty old Wikipedia. I can just keep on clicking articles for hours, and even if it's not the most accurate source I've found out about a lot of cool shit on there. I think I have like 160 tabs open in the app, and I don't even use it that much lmao. Left square bracket. You wake up in a dark, freezing room. Stoke the flames. My 90s TV. I've brought this website up before, but it's such a great thing. It's a fun, novelty website where you can easily lose yourself for hours with nostalgia. Basically it uses YouTube videos to simulate watching TV in 90s and allows you to specify the year you want, along with what categories you want to see when you change channels. They also have a My 80s TV and a My 70s TV. It's a text adventure game about Bitcoin. It's very sarcastic and very well done. Come on people, learn to use links. TV tropes. You learn things while accumulating grains of rice which are then donated. The questions get harder as you get more right. It's pretty neat. Edit. Clarification. Test your brain with number memory, reaction time, verbal memory, visual memory, hearing and typing speed. You mean besides the one you're on. This is sucks you in. If you'd like to get lost while getting to know about every slash any music genre, it comes in a minimalist cloud interface, every no eyes. Quickly lose track of time on YouTube. Once you fall down the rabbit hole there, it's easy to waste your whole night. Windows 93.net Found that site the last time one of these threads were posted, and it fucking ruined me. You could spend days clicking random shit and still find something new. PlayEmulator.com Play retro games online within your browser in the highest quality available. GBA, Gamma Boy Advance, SNES, Super Nintendo, N64, Nintendo 64, PSX, PlayStation, Sega and more. Emulator games play free on computers, tablets, and mobile phones. Very cool site. Webkins. When I was a kid that shit was crack. I say like crack, because I was addicted to crack 3 years ago, 1 year sober, and Webkins almost gives me the same feeling. Cool math games. Omegle for sure, one night my college friends, and I got drunk, and were on it from 10pm till the sun was up, and in the sky. Neopets. Try this one. It's like standing in London, and asking for directions to England, my friend, you're there.